This is how I was able to grow my account from 2000 to over 50,000 followers on Instagram. This is a video I wish I had when I started out. So here are 10 tips to grow on Instagram as a musician. Right, so tip number one is to focus on reels. Instagram is pushing out reels more than ever before. It is the only way you can reach people who've never seen your content before. So when you're initially starting to grow, it's best to focus your time and energy in short form content in the form of reels to get the best out of your efforts. Tip number two is to make content that is unique to you. Think about this. Say you want to make a cover of a song. There are probably millions of people who've already covered the song out there. Why would somebody want to watch your cover out of the other ones? So what you got to figure out is how to be different than the rest of the covers that are already out there on the song and that in turn will give a reason for people to follow you. Here's a concept you can follow to make your videos unique. A plus B equals C. Now what do I mean by this? Let's say I want to cover a song which is A and I choose the song As It Was by Harry Styles. The next step would be to add B to it which would be something unique that I bring to the table. It could be an acoustic version of the song, it could be an R&B version of the song, I might change lyrics of the song, anything that is unique to me that no one has ever done before or seen before. This in turn will give you C, which is a video that is very unique to you. And when people see that, when people see your uniqueness, they would ultimately wanna follow you anyway. Tip number three is to follow musicians that are in your niche. When you start following creators that are in your niche that you think make really good videos, you ultimately start getting inspired by their videos and that in turn will give you ideas for your own videos. This could also help you find songs that people are really engaging with right now and trending video ideas. This is how I think about it. To be a really good creator, you must be really good at consuming content. If you start filtering and consuming content that is in your niche and that is really good, ideas are gonna spark automatically. Tip number four is to reply to every DM and comment on your posts. This is very necessary because this will help you build a good community around your music and you will find that you are more personal with the people that follow you. Plus, it increases the engagement on your posts doubling the amount of comments that you have which in turn will signal instagram that your post is really engaging and it will start showing it to more people tip number five is to collaborate with other musicians and creators collaborating with other musicians and creators will help you reach a whole new audience that has never seen your content before this could be in a form of uh, collaboration on a song or say you guys do a live together or you do a Q&A session together. Uh, anything that you know your audience would enjoy. Tip number six is don't neglect the quality of your videos. This is something I see time and time again. As musicians, we tend to focus all our efforts on audio and we start neglecting the video. We don't even spend like half as much time thinking about the video aspect of it. Making good videos is a whole new skill that you have to learn and be good at. So spend some time starting to learn how to film and edit good videos. That will take you a long way. Your videos should be filmed in good lighting where you're looking good and are clearly visible. For example, here's a video of me filming a video in bad lighting versus good lighting. Which one would you want to watch? Instagram is a visual platform. So making really good videos is necessary as when someone's scrolling through their feed and your video comes up they immediately stop because of the quality of the video and they watch it till the end that's what gives you an edge over someone else's video tip number seven is to use trending songs so a great way to grow your audience is to use trending songs on instagram and make your versions on it since the song is being pushed out by the algorithm way more than any other song you have a real shot at being discovered by a huge audience. I find that whenever I make videos on trending songs, they tend to perform way more than any other song. So keep a lookout for any new trending song that comes up and be the first one to make something on it. 
Tip number eight is to be a part of the community that you're trying to build. And what I mean by this is being a part of the community makes us feel that we're part of something greater than ourselves. And it also gives us opportunities to connect with people. I have made some great friends on Instagram just by stumbling across their video and commenting on it. There are people that I still talk to and it all started with one simple comment. Tip number nine is don't worry about the numbers. When you're starting out, the only thing that you should focus on is how to make really good and valuable content instead of the numbers, the engagement. Think about it this way. If the content is good, the numbers will eventually start to go up. But if the content isn't good, the numbers will never go up. Tip number 10. Consistency is key. Yes, we all have heard it, but this is a tip that will take you the furthest. I would say set a realistic goal for yourself. Maybe you want to post once a week, twice a week, thrice a week. Whatever it is that works for you. It shouldn't be something that is completely inachievable for you or is it's too much because you're not going to do it in the long run. Last year, I started posting two videos a week for the whole year and I was pretty consistent throughout. Yes, there were days where I took breaks, but there were also days where I was posting, you know, three, four, five videos a week. But I found that two videos a week gave me time to focus on other things as well. Staying consistent with your post schedule will also make sure that you show up on your followers' feeds regularly, which in turn will keep them engaged. And also, this will trigger the algorithm, which will make it recommend your content to more people each time you post. I hope these tips were helpful in showing you how to grow your account as a musician. You can follow me on Instagram right here. Please do subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed watching the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.